Welcome back to my channel. Um, I got a box from B&G Trading Company, and I guess I should say who I am. I'm Melissa, and I am a full-time reseller. I'm on Poshmark and eBay. Yes, I'm giving eBay another shot. It's been working out okay. And I sell on Macari and Relove. Only a little bit. Only made a few sales on those two platforms. And I sell on ThreadUp, which I plan to actually go more heavily into ThreadUp in the future. Anyway, so I decided to get this B&G trading company. And I got um, 25 pieces from Revolve. And uh, yeah, it cost me $285 altogether. I had a discount code, though. So I got $53.99 off. But I think... At that price, I can't remember if I when I worked it out. You know what? I'll just get my phone and do it because it's easy to do. Two eighty five divided by twenty five. Okay, eleven dollars and forty cents each. So for whatever reason, my GoPro app won't connect to my camera, and so I can't actually see what you're seeing. Um, so hopefully, I'm in frame. Um, Although I will be editing this, so I'm not even sure why I'm saying that. Anyway, so I'm going to first go over what I expect to get out of this box. I expect there, there to be duplicates. I expect there to have everything have tags on them. And um, I expect that everything is free from damage. That's what I expect. Stains and damage. It's all brand new. It shouldn't have that. Um, but other than that, that's it. So let's get into it. First item is Jack by BB Dakota and it is a looks like oh it's just a um cardigan it's really cute though so let's see if I can make sure if I stay in frame here really cute um cut out well it's not cut out but it's uh what do you call it pattern because it's you know knit but that's cool I wonder if it has a price on it it does, $75. So, cool. I might even send this to thread up. I haven't decided, but we'll see. So, I already see a duplicate. So, this is another one. And one of the same size. Extra small and what was this one? Although they're big for a medium. But they're big for being extra small. I mean, this is like probably oversized. Has like a little hair on it. Okay, hair gone, but I don't see any seeing It looks brand new because you know, it should be. Oh, that's gonna be a mistake. Okay, I have a IKEA bag that was on a chair that I could see toppling over. Okay, another Jack by BB Dakota. Although I may just sell this myself because okay, Thornup has issues with pricing things correctly sometimes. I've I'm dealing with a few dresses that they price really low, um, which should be several hundred dollars. And so I've been going back and forth with thread up. They, they fixed the picture, but they didn't fix the price. Stupid. And then they fixed the picture on a different one. The price was fine, but then they pushed it out to listed before the bag was even done being processed. So there's a few things happening. You know, people make mistakes happens anyway so this is really cute it's very boho-y I love the like little fringe oh it already has my hair on it and here's the back very cute what size is this medium okay I don't mind if I get mediums and extra smalls okay and then this is also another one oh I say like, what keeps falling out it's those little packets to make sure moisture and another medium that same cardigan Okay, and this is Endless Rose, and this brand is also sold at um, Bloomingdale's, so it's not like a no-name brand or anything like that. This is small. This is really cute. It's like a little dress, but it's like high neck, has this little, this little tie up there. It's really cute. Yeah, I might just try to sell this my, you know, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to sell all this myself on Poshmark and eBay and see how it does. I mean, right now is probably a, a good time to do it because people are shopping for Christmas, right? 
So, you know, maybe I can sell a bunch of it during Christmas. So let's see. Um, and it's the fourth, so I will have to get this listed probably today to make sure. Okay, so this is, uh, well, I guess from Nordstrom, BB Dakota, uh, has a Nordstrom tag on it. This was $98 originally. And it's a cute little, it's a cute little dress. It reminds me of Diane von Furstenberg's dress. Uh, she has, her dresses are, she has a few dresses that are very similar to this. Maybe they copied. Probably. Someone did. But it's very cute. Uh, and that is a... Do, do, do. Ah, it's getting caught in the thing. What size are you? Zero. So it's tiny. That's okay. I sell zero stuff. Oop, there's going to be a lot of these dresses, I think. That's okay. Because then you can let... The, here's the bright side of getting more than one item um to get multiples of one item you take one picture or you know take one set of pictures and you list it and you have the various sizes in there and then there you go you set and forget you don't have to make a bunch of them over and over again but you do have to pay attention to how how many of which size you have so this is another zero same dress same dress another zero that's okay. And, oh, got some coats. Okay, so medium, Jack. This is a price on it. This does not have a price on it, though. I'm going to have to do some, uh, needs to be fluffed up a little bit, but this is not a bad jacket. It's a medium. Has a little faux fur. It's cute. And this is a, it's a black. It's like a charcoal. It's like a charcoaly black. It's like, it's not, yeah, it's charcoal. Because the dress is black. And this is the same coat, but medium. So they're both medium, which is fine. Which, this is probably why they sell these off in these lots. Because it's a bunch of stuff that they couldn't sell originally. Well, maybe the sizing, sizes that are left over. So I expect there to be a lot of smalls and extra smalls and mediums. Because the majority of people buy the bigger sizes. But that's not to say that you can't sell the smaller sizes. So I have a theory that if you have enough of an inventory of smaller sizes, then you will attract the people that are that size to shop in your closet. So, I mean... It works. Oh, this is large though. Aha. This is $75. So one of the other would be like a hundred. It's like a faux fur, like a little vest. Has a uh, hook and eyes down the front. It's really cute though. A lot of jack. Lots of jack. Ooh, okay. We're down with jack, at least for a minute. This is Pistola. These are size small. So these are pants and ooh, did I have them right? Okay. Nope. I had them right. Oh, they're not pants. There's a skirt. I was like, how is this going? It's really cute though. Looks like it buttons down the front. Yes. Snaps down the front. Bet you those are snaps. Yep. They are cool. And then the back is pretty plain. I've never heard of Pistola. I mean, I've heard of it, but I've never sold it myself. So, um, I'll have to do a little research there. Okay. And then line and dot. I'm not familiar with that. Hopefully I'm getting it in. Hopefully it's focusing. Sorry if it's not. Um, this is just a, looks like it's just a blouse. Oh, but it has like this zip on the side. Oh, that's really cool. That's a neat, it's a neat blouse. I really, I really like things that are like that. I find that they sell better. Things that are interesting to look at, people like to buy. So, and then the back is just pretty plain. It's a little sheer, so you'd want to wear something underneath, like a tank top or something. Oh, I got some jeans. Some Pistola jeans. Do they have a price on here? No. I will have to look them up and see how much they go for. But, I mean, these are cool. They are mid-rise skinny. I still pick up skinny 
I like skinny myself. I think it's still selling. But I really like these grommets. Not grommets, but studs. Yeah, studs. They're very cool. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. It's my coffee. Okay, so. Um, another pair of Pistola. These are the Monroe Crop Cigarette Jeans. So, and then there's Pistola. And then they're, they're cropped and they have the raw edge hem. So I like that myself. I'll buy raw edge hem for myself all the time. And these are high-waisted. So you can see that it has this uber long rise there. So yeah, oh, I'm excited to sell these. I'm so excited to sell these. I gotta look up the prices though, so I don't know how much they comp for. Uh, line and dot again. This is a blazer. Looks like it's an open front blazer, but I like it. I like the stripes. It's very referee-ish. <laughs> That's what we think of when I see stripes. Like, I think of a ref, but I don't know why. I don't follow sports. I don't like sports. But I guess it's pretty iconic. Oh, okay, another one of those Pistola uh, size small. Another one of those long skirts. Although it's a maxi skirt, so I think that could do pretty well. Ooh, ooh, I'm excited about this. Okay, so it has a caution on it. Due to the characteristics, characteristic of this trim, the edges are sharp and may cause damage. Take care when wearing. Yeah, look at that. That is so cool. If these were my size, I'd keep them. I'd totally wear these. They're gaudy as hell. And I love them. That's so cool. So these are size 26. I think they all have been size 26. So I have to put this over in this little special pile so it doesn't harm the other clothes. <laughs> you know. And there's nothing special about the back. Okay, so this is another Jack. So, and I also expected to get a lot of the same brand. So, size eight though, and this is a pantsuit. So, it's cool, it has this cut out in the front and the cut out in the back. I really like that and it has this tie. That is so cool. Oh, I love it. I love it. This is so cool. Okay. I'm excited. And did I get another pantsuit just in a different style? I think so. Yeah, yeah, I did. Okay, this is also Jack by BB Dakota. No price tag on the back of these, so I have to look it up. I imagine it'd be around 75, 100, something like that. But it's another pantsuit. It's kind of halter. And then the back, there's you know, no back. It's a size six. I mean, if nothing else, this will do better like towards the spring and people might buy them because they have tags on them for summer for people, you know, to give to someone for the spring. Okay, another pair of jeans by Pistola. And these are the Remy Low Rise Boyfriend. Boyfriend's still pretty much in, size 27. All right. I like that these are light wash uh, there's really nothing special about the back. All the action's in front, which is fine. Okay. And, ooh, jean skirt. It's a Pistola one. Has that studs again, and they, they make noise. <laughs> Size 29. And Pistola again. Raw edge ham. I really like it. Cool. So it's a little mini skirt. I have a problem with selling mini skirts, but not so much jean mini skirts. So I will still pick up those. But you know, if you find a jean maxi skirt, those tend to sell really well. Another pair of Pistola, but this is in gray. This is the Audrey Mid Rise Skinny. And uh, these are size 33. Those might fit me. I think I'm a 33. I don't know. I might be a 34. But if these fit me, I might just keep them. We'll see. I'll have to try them on. If not, they will be selling. 
Okay. Ooh, this is really pretty. I like it. Too bad it's not my size. It's not going to be it's an extra small. And it is not stretchy, like pretty much at all. So you need to be extra small for real. It's really cute though. I mean, the front is like has some give because it's the way it is, but it's like the waist has a little bit of stretch, but not that much. So yeah. So you have to be legit extra small, just like, oh, I can wear extra small. Because we all know how that works. You know, I can wear a different size, but they make it big enough, right? <laughs> so um, this is a Jack by B2B Dakota. It looks like a jacket. It's a, um, it's like a coat. It's a small it's plaid. I love the plaid. I love this little action on the, it's on the waist too. Yeah, that's so cool. And it has snaps all the way down. And is lined. Cool. And that's it. That's all my items. So let's say everything retailed originally for $75, right? Means I have $1,875 of stuff in here, right? So I paid $11.40 each item, right? Let's make sure I did my math right. Yes, $11.40 each. Okay, so I want to get, I probably won't get retail, obviously, but let's say you got 50% of retail, right? Uh, 75 divided by two is $37 times eight, $30 each that I would make, but not including my, my cost of goods times 25, that'd be $750 minus 285. So I could make $465 off this if I sell everything half price of what it originally retailed. That, that's, that's what the assumption everything retailed at $75. Some of it did because it has it on the price, but some of it I don't know. So a lot of times jeans do not retail for $75. A lot of times they'd retail for like $200. So I'm going to look up, I need to do some research on this. And I think that's like on the low side. On the low side, I will make... $465 gross and not gross, but net, um, as my profit, that is what I think I'll make. So that's not terrible. Um, would I get this box again? Absolutely. Nothing had any tears that shouldn't be there. I mean, obviously the jeans had some tears in it, but they were meant to be there. Um, I didn't see any damage, you know, on first glance. I mean, there was a lot of small and that's okay. Uh, a lot of people don't like a lot of small, but you know, I pick up small when I go to the bins or when I go to thrift stores, I don't not pick it up because it has says extra small or small. I just don't. I still pick it up. Um, sometimes it's just a little harder to sell, but you still can sell it. Uh, I am a hundred percent sure I will make my money back on every single item. Um, except for maybe this one. This is the only one that I'm not real sure on, but maybe, I mean, probably because I'm not sure on it. All of a sudden this will go first. I don't know. And I don't know how sought after line and dot is. I mean, maybe that's a really sought after brand. Who knows? There's so many brands I don't know about. There's probably so many brands you don't know about. So, um, there's a reason why I got this box. I don't know a lot about revolve brands to be perfectly honest. And so I don't shop on there. I don't look at there. I probably should start looking. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put everything up on my Poshmark and eBay and going to see how it sells. And once I sell, um, if I sell everything and if I make the lowest price, I think that, that amount of money, I'm going to do another box and then we'll get a new unboxing anyway. So thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for watching. And I hope you hit the bell and subscribe and do all that good stuff. Um, I really love to get to, you know, more people watching and have a bigger subscribership subscribership. I don't know. Watch your ship? No. I don't know what ship it should be, but whatever ship it should be, please do that. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Well, thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. And again, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit that bell so you can see more videos by me.